Hello everyone in YouTube land, this is Alan, aka AOL Customer. Um, I'm going to be playing this game, it's called Stories Untold. I haven't really heard much about this game, um, so I figured this would be a good addition to uh, my channel here. It's a scary movie, or scary movie, scary-ish game. Um, <clears throat> Hopefully, from what I read on the reviews, anyway. And, yeah, we'll see what happens. And I'm doing this on Friday the 13th. Um, and I guess this will be a good theme for my Halloween special monthly thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and see what this is all about. Um, and, yeah, let's try this out and see if this game is scary. Stranger Things, Things 5. I should have changed my uh, sound settings. Pull up to the driveway of the family ho holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember it from all that time ago. Um, you remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. All right. Oh, this is one of those type your adventure thing. Okay. Um. Look in. Glove box. The glove box is closed, but appeared to be unlocked. <clears throat> All right, open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. Read notes. Note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, have you enjoyed your break? Hope you enjoyed your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. All right, you pull up to the driveway. Oh, and then blah, blah, blah. It goes back to that. All right. <clears throat> uh, get out of the car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay. Head to house. I don't know what you're trying to use. Okay. Um, go to front door. I don't understand. Uh, enter house. The door appears to be locked. Oh, okay. Use key. You answer the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. Step inside the front door. Enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Uh, turn on light switch. Click and nothing. There's no power. The notes should say how to restore the generator. Um, read. Oops. Well, duh. Step outside. Where was the generator at? We'll look for generator. Right? Uh, go to attic. Go upstairs. Um, walk to attic. 
the hell? Um, go to car. Go outside. You step outside the front door. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Read, note. Oh, around back. All right. Go around the house. I go around that inside. <sighs> Outside. Go outside. <sighs> Go to the yard. Take a walk around into the yard. There we go. Yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Um, three notes. A look. Okay. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Turn on generator. Push your generator on and it wars to life. The house is still dark. Go to the front door. Walk back around to the front of the house. Okay. Enter house. Yo, light switch. Turn on light. Always now brightly lit, there is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Okay, go upstairs, walk upstairs to the landing. Stairwell landing, there is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Go to attic. Look for attic. Open attic. Alright. Go to room. Go to my room. Walk into your old room. Old bedroom. So many good memories in here and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open box. You unwrap the gift excitedly. Can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a future road 128k plus two. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Old bedroom, so many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well on your desk as a future road. Okay, and a copy of the house abandoned. It's all still set to be set up though. Uh, set a computer. Start to plug in the various cables and LEDs. Okay. Computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Turn on the computer. Uh, play. Put the cassette in the computer and press play. Oh. Say, get out. House abandoned, a drag of horror adventure. You pull up to the drive of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the blood box. You can't stand to be near this place. Oh god. 
open glove box. Side is a key and a handwritten note. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, okay. Get out the car, get out the car, get out the car, okay. Pull up to the driveway to the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, yep. It's clearly neglected. Can't stand to be near this place. Uh, open. Or get out of the car. Force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood, wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. That's a good. Uh, walk towards yard. Go to yard. Step through the debris to the backyard. Grass is overgrown. And we just crawl up to the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch a note, needing to look around. Um, hell, would I say here? Hmm. Um. There's an old generator. Okay. Turn on generator. Oh, that's cool. There isn't much fuel, fuel, but the generator starts up. Okay. Walk to front. Go to front door. Well, I just noticed those pictures on the side too. Look at that. See that? Okay, um, open door. The door appears to be locked, oh yeah. Use key. Unlock the door, the click on the lock hurts to here, okay. Open, oops. I can't spell. You reluctantly step inside the door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands and you feel compelled to read it over and over. Alright. Go upstairs. Read notes. Dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. To the touch. Okay. Um, go turn. Or use switch. Read of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off, the walls are falling apart after years of neglect and worse or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet. Okay. Upstairs the sound of the alarm clock flaring. So what else is in the house? The camp be. Go upstairs. Take this off. Turn off the alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. Are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. Can't read the note. It's bleeding. Okay. Uh, go upstairs. You head up the stairs. They creak. Same, but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at that. <sighs> Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand, neither can he. Answer phone. You hear him answer the phone. Your mind hurts and you taste iron. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever you consider the worst, hang up. Oh, relief. Same but different. The uh, landing with your room in the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at pictures. Pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Okay. Man, this game has that creepy vibe. Alright, look 
and sisters group. Go to sisters room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this, okay? Um, go to my room. Read notes. Combination. So we're gonna get in, get out. Okay. Um, so. Go. Go to bathroom. Enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Um, look around. Look in the bathroom. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Covers it now on a note, huh? Okay. Um. <clears throat> uh, get out of. Well, I don't, don't want to do that yet. Um. Go. Leave the bathroom. Go downstairs. You go back downstairs. They're still in the hallway. The noise are stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. It should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Okay. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. Kitchen sinks and feet inks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look at writing. Blood number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Okay, 1986. Look at carcass. Look closer but can't tell what it is. Or what it was. <clears throat> Open utility room. Okay. Go to living room. Go upstairs. Leave kitchen. Oh wait, you know what? I need to go back to the kitchen and see if I can read the note. Go to kitchen. <coughs> read note. It's covered in blood. You could just make out the words. There's nothing for you here. That's creepy. Um, Go upstairs, nineteen eighty six. All right. Said not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. Grab the walking can now and put the coat. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to your boat. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. 
This is gonna be fun because I don't know what's going to happen. Go to my room. The door is closed. Open. Oops. Door. Open the door. Ooh, nice effect. Okay. Uh, enter. Room. Not sure which room. Enter my room. Enter your bedroom. Okay. Bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You gripped a note tight. Read note. Sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can't be with you now. Oh, shit. This is a suicide note. There's nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Look at Percy. Thing back and, rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Um, talk to person. Struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. Your grip on the note t tightens further. Damn, what else do I want to do? Um, uh, there is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Look at computer. Use computer. Know what you're trying to use. Um, turn off computer. Get out. Um, damn it, what am I going to do? Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Get in the door. Go to person. supposed to do here so you see him give note to a person uh, oh, oops soon by guilt to end and you are pathetic it was all your fault say it it was all my fault I don't believe you like you mean it please um, it was all my fault say it it was all my fault all right kind of like that little creep vibe to it oh that was the first episode 
Um, hopefully the other episodes are good. I wanted to split these videos apart, but yeah, that's good. Um, we'll leave it there. So, in that case, um, hopefully there's more creepiness to it. I might stream this, actually. This might be a good streaming thing. Let me know what you think. Um, go ahead and leave a comment, share, like, subscribe. Uh, hopefully there's more to this on these weird little uh, episodes here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it, um, and let me know any suggestions, uh, anything like that. I just got um, Shadow of War, so I'm gonna play a little bit of that. Can't wait. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and hopefully you all have a nice day, night, whatever it is in your land. Take care, bye-bye.